Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for the month of August. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that this is a message from my guides. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind also that the timing is fluid. This may not resonate when you watch it. It may resonate later in the month because this is for at some point in August. You may be experiencing this now, but you may not. This is a preview. So this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Dear God, Angels, Spirits, and Universe, what do we have for Leo for the month of August? Oh, there it is. Release. This is a death card. So, this is a release. This is a transformation. This is the end. So, this is, uh, you know, this is a transformation. It's a transition. Something is ending and something new is beginning. So, this is a major life change. Okay? So... This is actually a good thing. It's a good thing. This will allow you to follow your heart. And since it is Leo season and it is all about your heart. So I feel like this is a heartfelt, you know, release. And this is going to, you know, allow you to start a new life. What do we have for Leo? Oh, did you see that? It's standing right up. Oh my goodness, Leo. Eight of Summer. This is the Eight of Cups. The desire for a more meaningful life. Realizing that it's time to move on. Choosing to make major life changes. And I believe that I just told you that this was a major life change. So you are about to head in a new direction. This is not a small release. This is a big release. Okay. I think that you are in search of a more meaningful life. And I think that you realize that something has to be let go of to achieve it. And I think that you are taking the steps that you need to take. Okay. So we have a major life change here that includes releasing something that doesn't serve you anymore. Something is coming to an end, okay? And it's nothing little. This is big. It's big. Um, Leo, what do we have in regards to relationships? One card, please. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. I think you do need to stay positive. I think that some of you have may have been in an unrequited love situation. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So I feel like we have somebody here that is walking away from an unrequited love situation in search for something more you know, emotionally fulfilling, something more meaningful. So I feel like this is a month of releasing something that was, didn't serve you. I mean, it just wasn't, it, it was unrequited, right? Right? I mean, I can't, the cards speak for themselves. So you guys are in the process of transition, release, uh, moving in a new direction and I think that we have a new beginning here because with endings bring new beginnings so this is a this is a, the beginning of a new life eight of swords there's been an obstacle that has been in the way but I think that obstacle is being removed you've been confined you've been in a place of containment but I think you have probably found a way to escape okay 
two of swords. I think the two of swords reversed. I think the decision has been made. You can't avoid it. You can't avoid this release. The decision has already been made. This wheel of fortune, this is bad luck. You may have you may be experienced you may have been through a period of bad luck. You may have been going backwards. You may have been stuck for a, a time. Maybe you're still a little bit stuck. Maybe you're going to experience a little bit of turbulence, you know, as you really as you release something. Um Four of Swords. This is a dead end. Okay, this is exhaustion. Um, you need to take a break. You need to take a minute to relax. You may be feeling frustrated. You may, may be feeling weighed down. You may be feeling a little overwhelmed. I just got to be honest with you. Okay? You Something to do with the fourth. I don't know what's to do with the fourth or, or something to do with the four here. Um, I don't know. Um, this is mentally exhausted, frustrated. Um, <laughs> overwhelmed, perhaps. Like I said, you may you may experience a little bit of turbulence at the beginning of the month. Okay, I feel as though you have been confined, but you have made a decision, and you know things may not be as easy as you hoped. I think there's some mental conflict here for sure. There's some mental issues. Not that you're mental, but you know what I mean. There's some power struggles. There's some internal um, well, feelings that are that are plaguing you. Some internal um, there's some angst. Okay, there's some angst. There's some frustration. There's a need to Retreat. I think that you you pr may need to retreat. Maybe you're deciding to go your own way, work on yourself. This is a card of independence. Six of Pentacles, lack of a rejection. There could have been a rejection here. Um, not receiving something. Not receiving um, balance and harmony. Things are out of balance. Six of Wands, but this is you persevering, holding your head up high, marching right towards victory. So you are marching towards victory. And this is your hopes and fears, victory. You, are, you will have victory. You will have victory. But right now, things may be a little upside down. You may not be, you may be worried about your money. You may be worried about your finances. You may be worried about what's going to happen next. I think that, you know, there is something that has been holding you back that, let me just get the rest of these cards, has caused you a lot of despair. Something has caused you a lot of despair. You may be losing hope. Maybe you've lost hope or or. You know, you need to have hope. You need to have faith that whatever happens is meant to be. Um, this is the Wheel of Fortune reversed. This is clinging to control. You know, you may be you may be thinking, you know, that you can control a situation that you can't control. It's out of your control. You know, whatever is meant to be is meant to be. It's not in your control. So keep that in mind. Don't lose your faith because you couldn't control something. It was out of your control. There's a higher power that is in control here. So I feel as though this Ten of Cups, there's an end of a relationship here. I think that there's, this is the Ten of Cups is the end of a relationship ship that will allow, that somebody is, this is going your own way. Both of these cards next to this Ten of Cups tells me that we have somebody here that is basically, this is freedom. Both of these cards, right? we have freedom here. You are being broken free from something that brought disharmony into your life, whatever that is. This is a fresh new start. Okay, so you are about, you know, this is, this is, it's time for you to fly. It's time for you to be free. It's time for you to start over. This is a, this is a new beginning. You do have a new beginning here. But before this new beginning, we have an ending. 
okay? Endings bring new beginnings. So I feel like you guys have just ended something or something is about to end. I feel like this is out of your control with that Wheel of Fortune reversed. I think that you, you can't control it. You may have tried to control it, but you can't control it. I feel as though your challenge is independence. Your challenge is taking care of yourself. I have to tell you that you do have the skills. You have all the skills and the tools that you need to take care of yourself. So don't doubt that for a minute. Um, you are very strong. You are very independent. You have a lot of... You're very capable. Okay, you're very, very, very capable. And I think that you're also highly respected. So don't don't think that you're not for a second. You may be going through a period of stress, okay? You may be going through a period of stress, but I don't think this stress is going to last forever. I see, a, I see a new beginning here. I see you starting with a clean slate. Don't give up hope. You may, you may feel like hopeless. You may feel like things are hopeless. You may feel like... You know, you didn't give enough to a situation, or you didn't do enough, or you made the wrong decision, but I feel like you made the right decision. I feel as though there's an opportunity for happiness here on your own. So, uh, Leo, I feel as though we have a fresh start. We have a fresh new start, starting with a clean slate. There's that death card again. We have this, I mean, this is the end. It's the end of something that no longer serves you. You are ex about to experience, and this is in August, okay? This is, this is in August. You are going to experience, you know, some sort of ending. This ending is going to allow you to start over fresh. I don't think that, the, that there is, I think this has already been in the plan. This is part of the plan. Through suffering, you will receive some sort of reward. The pain of this release will bring you some sort of reward. This will allow you, it will allow you to shine. This is you. If you this is you. You will become the creator. This is like deliverance. This is the birth of a new life. Endings bring new beginnings. So you are about to give birth to a new life. You could if you you could even get pregnant. I mean if you are in the that stage, it's a very fertile time. So, you know, if you are the male watching this, you could, you could be um, starting something with somebody that, you know, somebody could get pregnant. So just, if you don't want somebody to get pregnant, be careful. Okay, this is a Taurus or a Libra, but this could also be a, Lib a Leo. This could be a Leo. This is the queen of all queens. You will be shining. You will be glowing. People will be drawn to you this month. So Leo, I really feel as though you have a new beginning here. And this is some sort of reward. It is. The, she gives birth after pain, after suffering. This is a blessing. So, you know, I feel as though you have a new beginning. You, you have a this new beginning, new beginning, new beginning. You have a major new beginning here. I feel like something is ending or something has ended that was very painful to you. You may have given up hope. You may be in a state of despair. But the pain that you are enduring is going to bring you some sort of blessing. So please don't give up.
This is, a, this is a new relationship. New relationship. You may have to become single first. This could be severing ties with somebody that didn't really reciprocate. Removing that obstacle. Going your own way and starting a new relationship. So I feel as though we have the, the, a birth of, of a new life here for you, Virgo. Oh, I was going to say Virgo. Leo, I just did Virgo. I don't think you could be dealing with a Virgo. I don't see that. This is for Leo. I see that you may be going through it right around the corner. It, probably at the beginning of the month, you may feel exhausted. You may feel overwhelmed. You may be losing hope. But I'm here to tell you to hold your head up high. Because you're about to receive some sort of blessing. And this is divinely guided. Okay. Whatever it is that is leaving your life. Is leaving your life. Because it's time for you to start with a clean slate. It's time for you to start over. You know. I. I, I oh my God. The universe, the world, it's the, the, you, a, a significant phase. In, this is the end of a journey. The very last card in the deck. You have learned some sort of lesson. One phase, one very prominent phase in your life is over. And you're about to step onto a new path. The world is in your hands. So... Leo, you have a major new beginning here. Congratulations. This is the best reading I've done for August. <laughs>